Hi, my name is Elena Roberts. I am a sophomore at Brown University. I am studying applied mathematics and I am also on the rowing team and part of Storytellers Club. I usually wake up around 8 in the morning, 7.30, and I go immediately to breakfast with some friends at one of the dining halls, one of the main dining halls on campus. And after that, I go to a 9 a.m. class, either French or math. Then I have one more class in the afternoon. Uh, after that, I go straight to practice at the boathouse, which is about a mile from campus along the river. And I'm at the boathouse for two and a half to three and a half hours uh, after practice. I usually go with the whole team and we'll eat dinner together again at one of the dining halls on campus. And after that, we all split up and go study on our own at a library or sometimes in my room. So, uh, so what is this building? Okay, so this is the Applied Math building. It's the Applied Math Department. And this is where a lot of my professors and my academic advisor, they have their offices here. So I'll have a lot of meetings here. Not as many classes, but lots of office hours. Um, so when you got to Brown, did you know that you wanted to be an Applied Math major? No. Originally, I was thinking engineering, something STEM related. But I definitely switched around a lot. I took a lot of different classes my freshman year in like all sorts of different departments and I think that helped me explore quite a bit. I switched around for a while I was thinking engineering, anthropology, sociology, political science, public policy. Sort of I really around. I really hopped around yeah, yeah. Um, which is nice about Brown. You don't have any requirements until you start your um, concentration and then you just have those requirements to fulfill. So you really have like a ton of room to explore, which I think is really helpful because I, I realized after the fact that I really didn't know what I wanted to do or what I wanted to study. Sure, but sort of that exploration helped you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So what is the um, Brown Applied Math Department like? Um, well, there's a couple different tracks you can take. They actually have a lot of different options you can do. They offer Applied Math Computer Science, that's a concentration. And they also have Applied Math Econ, which is really popular here. And then they also, you know, just have regular strict Applied Math. And you can do Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. Overall, what is sort of the environment like academically at Brown? I would say, if I had to describe it, I would say it's really cooperative like between students and between faculty too, like they are really working, you know, with you to make sure that you are taking classes you want to take and you're enjoying your classes. And I would say just like Brown as a whole really, really wants you to enjoy the classes you're taking and they have so many different ways to make that happen. You can take any class you want for a grade or you can take it pass fail. So they're encouraging people to take classes that, you know, they're scared of taking or that they're uncomfortable taking. Um, kind of without risk of failing. And because of that too, since you know the GPA, there's pass fail and there's class for a grade, I feel like people aren't you know competing between like GPAs and stuff like that because it's really hard to kind of compare like where you stand versus where another student stands. It doesn't seem super, I mean it's hard, which makes it somewhat competitive just by it being difficult, but um, it's not competitive in the sense that students are competing with each other. So um, what are weekends typically like for you at Brown? So I usually have practice in the morning on Saturday till noon, one maybe. In the evening, like later evening night, there's usually, you know, various like parties around campus. Last night there was a big Harry Potter, Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry, themed Harry Potter themed party, okay. which is a big event at Brown. It's pretty uh, famous. Oh, because uh, Emma Watson 
Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm Watson. Awesome. Yeah, she actually lives in the dorm I'm in now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's a fun event. So there, so there's some other schools in the area. RISD, uh, Providence College. Um, is there a lot of interaction between the Brown community and those com communities? So RISD students and Brown students can take classes at each other's schools, which is not something you can do at Providence College and the other schools. So I think because of that, there's more interaction between these two schools. So yeah, I mean, I have quite a few, like I have a couple friends that go to RISD, so I definitely can, you know, interact with that community more so. So this is the boathouse? Yes, this is the boathouse right behind you. Great. So you're on the crew team. Um, what does a typical week in crew look like? We practice every day, sometimes twice a day, um, all afternoons. But yeah, occasionally we have some morning practices. More, probably like two or three times a week we would have morning practices. So I rode in high school. And so I definitely wanted to continue rowing in college. And I like I knew about the crew team here. I had some friends that were on it. So that was something that I came in knowing that I would join. Well, the main like competitive season uh, for like NCAA rowing is the spring. So in the spring, we probably have a race every week for all of April, most of May, and maybe one race in March. Why did you ultimately decide on Brown? I think that that was probably one of the main things. Like it seems like they, the school puts in a lot of effort to make sure that you can take classes you want to take and have professors that you like um, and really just like make your learning what you want it to be. It's very friendly, which I think is different than like definitely different than middle school and definitely different than high school and just like any school prior to this. Um, I think that it's, Brown's a nice size, like it's 7,000 undergrad, about 7,000 undergrad, which is um, pretty nice because I think that there's like so many different communities that kind of like are overlapping and I think it's so intimidating, you know, to go to a new school, especially if it's far away. Um, but it seems like people have a pretty good um, attitude about like making friends, which is so helpful <laughs> and right. so nice. So that's probably the most surprising. If you like this video and you want to learn more about top colleges, don't forget to subscribe.